now the man described as the second in command of al-Qaeda on the Arabian Peninsula, Saeed al-Shahiri, has been killed in Yemen by U.S. airstrike. Officials say Saeed al-Shahiri was second in command of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. Al-Shiri had been held at Guantanamo Bay. In 2007, he was allowed to return home to Saudi Arabia. He soon became one of the founding members of Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. On the 11th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks, Al-Qaeda has confirmed for the first time the death of its deputy leader, Abu Yahya al-Libi. U.S. officials said in June that they had killed al-Qaeda's second-in-command in a drone strike in northwest Pakistan. Al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawahiri published a video on jihadist websites late on Monday in which he described Libby as a martyr. Libby became Zawahiri's deputy after the killing of Osama bin Laden in May last year. <laughs> Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula has planned attacks on international targets and is described by Washington as the most dangerous wing of the jihadist network. U.S. authorities blame the group for the 2009 Christmas plot in which a bomb hidden in a militant's underwear failed to detonate on a plane bound for Detroit. Here at home we will strengthen our defenses, but... We will not succumb to a siege mentality. After fighting in Afghanistan against U.S. forces, al-Sheri was imprisoned in Guantanamo before being released in 2007. There are conflicting reports on how al-Sheri died. The Yemeni military first announced it had killed the Saudi native in a ground assault. But other accounts indicate he died in a U.S. drone strike. Counterterrorism cooperation is a hallmark of the U.S.-Yemeni relationship. The U.S. has long accused AQAP of targeting Americans with attempted airline hijackings. The group has not confirmed al shekhi's death. Earlier this year, the Obama administration admitted it uses drones to target people it considers legitimate military targets. It is hard to imagine a tool that can better minimize the risk to civilians than remotely piloted aircraft. Shahri could be the latest in a number of people killed in U.S. drone strikes in Yemen, including the American-born spiritual leader of AQAP, Anwar al-Awlaki. His teenage son was also killed in a separate attack. U.S. intelligence officials consider AQAP the most dangerous of al-Qaeda's affiliates. So both governments would consider al-Shahri's death, if confirmed, a victory. <laughs>